I'm Corinne. I'm Thomas. Hey, welcome to the Chill Spot. I'm Corinne, and I have Lori back with me. Lori Porter here with the Chill Spot. I'm gonna tell you right now, it ain't too chill in the studio. We've got these bright lights beaming down on us. Anyway, I already said that in the last show. I'm back. Right. Thanks for She's welcoming back. me back. For You're another, welcome. welcome. Another Chill welcome. Spot. What are we talking about today, Corinne? We're actually gonna talk about lead. Um, the word lead? Yeah, the oh. word lead. Um, we get a lot of questions about leadership and what leadership teams um, should work on and everything. So hopefully this will be um, some information that you can use in your facility or as a um, individual, just um, in your everyday. <laughs> lead, lead. That's good. I like it. If you that. have no content, you just have to joke around. Yeah, that's, okay. that's true. That's oh, true. That's so you hear it in your work setting. Um, some facilities, they have their lead workers or their lead CNAs. Yes, I've worked with a few leads. Yeah. And you hear it in everyday phrases like lead by example, like you're doing. You have NACA, so you're leading by example. <laughs> To the rest of the CNAs that out there. That probably was not, not a good example, folks. The, she's quite complimentary, but no. I gave up on that leading by example a long time ago. I'm one of those people, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> At least I'm willing to admit it. You're, you're honest. Let's she's honest. All right. Sorry to take you off track. No, you're fine. Corinne's trying to be serious about lead. All right, let's try this and again. Then, and then you also hear it um, in everyday phrases as such as the lead dog um, always changes their scenery. Um, and I kind of like that one because that's true. Unless you well, put yourself out if you're the second dog, there. you're not. That's true. <laughs> you don't have a very good view. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't. You don't. But I think. I'd I give a whole new meaning <laughs> to brown noser, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, that's one of my shirts that I really like. And you get the most compliments on is when you see that big old nose. And on the back of it, it says brown nose. <laughs> Do we have any of those still in the pro shop? I no. wonder. Aww. No, we need to get some of those because that was a good shirt. Yeah, it was. And then you see the first four letters in leadership as, as lead, that L-E-A-D. And if you look up the definition, which I did have to look it up, it tells you to go before or to show the way, to escort. But if you break down the word in each letter, it can uh -huh. be so inspiring to your leadership team or as an individual person. So the L means learning together. And by learning together, you can achieve a lot more. And E, empowering others. By empowering others, you leave no one behind. And I'm going to call you out on this one, too, because that's exactly what you're, you're doing. You do empower the CNAs to stand up for ourselves. Well, I try because, you know, I stood up for myself as a CNA. And what, yeah. All it got me was written up <laughs> twice for my negative attitude. But I learned a little bit, so yeah. now I can help you escape yeah. the attitude side the attitude. of it and just stand up for yourself. You deserve yeah. it. Exactly. And then A is achieving goals. By achieving, you see success. You'll see success in your team, and you'll see success in your own um, ah, squirrel, like Drake says. Yeah. I lost my train well, of thought. Well, when you're a team, though, mm -hmm. one of the things I'd like to say about this success is uh, teams should keep score. One of the reasons CNAs don't have a great story to tell is they're not keeping score on the lives they change right. and how they change them. Mm -hmm. And so even if you, you know, get you a little notebook, don't carry around something this size, but get you a little steno pad and keep track of how many residents you help achieve a, a level of independence right. that they wouldn't have without you. And that's when you can start seeing your greatness and talk about being a CNA in a different mm -hmm. way. Yeah, because it doesn't matter 
if you touch a hundred lives or a thousand, if you can reach one resident, then that's, that's worth everything. Mm -hmm. And then the last letter is D and it's discovering, um, our potential or your potential. And by discovering that everyone rises above. Mm -hmm. And then I just want to quote something that Benjamin Franklin said that he who cannot follow cannot lead. That's and I, a, I like that's that. That's a great quote. Mm -hmm. If you can't follow, you can't lead because right. most leaders had to be followers at some right. point in time before mm -hmm. they stepped up exactly. to lead. And, uh, you know, I, I think it was Benjamin Franklin, not to change the subject, but I believe it was Benjamin Franklin who said, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. And so I love what I do. Mm -hmm. It is, uh, we can call it hard work. CNAs love what they do. And that's why... They keep doing it in spite of all of the challenges. I right. mean, Lord knows there's easier positions than exactly. being a CNA taking care mm -hmm. of sick folks. And so I will continue to lead, uh, not always by example, but I will always lead to stand mm -hmm. up for our CNAs in this country. Exactly. And I know there's some bad CNAs. Mm -hmm. But we can't represent the good without the bad getting a, a little mm -hmm. bit of attention, too. But uh, we're here for the professionals. Right. Anyway, is that the wrap for uh, this show? Yeah, or? and just remember that there is no I in the word team. There isn't an I, but mm -hmm. um, uh, that's another program probably I'll do. Gary, uh, we should mark that down uh, to be uh, there's no I in team for Lori Porter because I've got a little... Yeah, and that's and that's sometimes that statement when I say it, when I say it, I kind of get a little bit down on myself because I'm kind of like team oriented. So I'm just like really like if one person like doesn't include everybody, like if you have how do I say it? Like if you have like one ideal and they take it and run with it because I'm the way I'm trained is just like team from being at the veterans home mm -hmm. and from being with. Nancy Maddox, oh my Lord. I mean, it was team, team, team. Shout out to Nancy. I think we need to wrap this one yes. up, Corinne. We're going over our time slot. Yep. And so thank you so much for mm -hmm. another uh, great show and being able to be a part You're of welcome. it. And remember, you matter. <laughs>